Have a blessed morning, and welcome back brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Rosary Today channel. Let us pause for a moment of reflection and spiritual contemplation, as we engage in today's Catholic morning prayers. Join us in seeking divine guidance and blessings, to commence our day. If you love what we are doing, please support us by subscribing, liking and sharing, and hit the notification bell, so you can stay updated whenever we have new videos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, as I rise this morning, I thank you for the gift of a new day. I am grateful for the breath in my lungs, and the opportunity to experience your goodness once again. I come before you, acknowledging the promise you made, to write your law on my heart and to be my God. I ask that you guide me today, helping me to live in a way that honors and pleases you. Lord, as I start this day, I surrender my thoughts, plans, and desires to you. Shape my heart according to your will, and let your word be the foundation of all that I do. I pray that my actions would reflect your truth, and that your love would be evident, in the way I speak and interact with others. Thank you, Father, for the assurance of your forgiveness. I am deeply grateful that you choose to remember my sins no more, and that in you, I find true freedom and redemption. Help me to let go of past mistakes, and to walk boldly in the newness of life that you have given me. Lord, help me to experience your presence in every moment. To recognize your voice amidst the noise, and to seek you in all circumstances. I want to know you intimately, Lord, and to grow in my relationship with you each day. Let my life be a reflection of your grace, and may others see your light shining through me. Guide my steps, Father, and grant me wisdom in every decision I face. Protect my heart from fear and doubt, and fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. As I go about my day, help me to be a vessel of your love and kindness, extending grace to those around me. May my words bring encouragement, and may my actions point others to you. Thank you for your faithfulness and the new covenant you have established with me. I am humbled by your love and the privilege of being called your child. As I go forth today, let me do so with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit that is eager to serve you. Thank you for being my God, my guide, and my greatest joy. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. Prayer to Our Lady Queen of Martyrs Mary Most Holy Virgin, and Queen of Martyrs, accept the sincere homage of my childlike love. Welcome my poor soul, into your heart pierced by so many sorrows. Receive it as the companion of your sorrows, at the foot of the cross. On which Jesus died for the redemption of the world. Sorrowful Virgin, in union with you I will gladly suffer all the trials. Misunderstandings, and pains that our Lord lets me endure. I offer them all to you in memory of your sorrows. So that every thought of my mind, and every beat of my heart, may be an act of compassion and love for you. Loving Mother, have pity on me and reconcile me to your Divine Son. Keep me in His grace and assist me in my last agony. So that I may be able to meet you in heaven, and sing your glories. Mary Most Sorrowful, Mother of Christians, pray for us. Mother of love, of sorrows, and of mercy, 
Pray for us, Amen. The Holy Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus, and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked, and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down, and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water, and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners, in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish, they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, from now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, Amen. The Angelus Prayer The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me, according to thy word. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord. Thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord, Amen. Morning Prayer to the Holy Spirit Dear Holy Spirit, as I begin this day, I ask for your guidance and inspiration in all that I do. 
Help me to discern your will for my life, and to follow it with faith and courage. Give me wisdom to make good choices, and strength to face the challenges of the day. Fill me with your love, joy, and peace. And help me to share these gifts with those around me. Use me as an instrument of your grace and mercy in the world. Please protect me from all that is evil. And help me to resist temptation and to pursue all that is good. Above all, help me to love and serve you with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. May my life be a reflection of your goodness and grace to all those around me. Amen. Daily Offering to the Immaculate Heart of Mary O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and suffering of this day. In union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, throughout the world, I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart. The salvation of souls. Reparation for sins. The reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and of all apostles of prayer. And in particular, for those recommended by our Holy Father this month. Prayer of Surrender to Jesus Heavenly Father, I completely surrender all my life to you. I adore you, for you are mighty and all-powerful. Worthy of all my praise. As I kneel in worship to you, Lord. Sometimes I am so overwhelmed by what is going on around me that I am lost for words. By the working power of the Holy Spirit, I know that all I need to do is call on the beautiful, sweet-sounding name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for that privilege. Take Lord and receive all my liberty. My memory my understanding, and my entire will, all I have and call my own. You have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me, Amen. Consecration Prayer to the Blessed Virgin Mary O Mary, Virgin Most Powerful and Mother of Mercy. Queen of Heaven and Refuge of Sinners, we consecrate ourselves to Thine Immaculate Heart. We consecrate to Thee, our very being and our whole life. All that we have, all that we love, all that we are. To Thee we give our bodies, our hearts and our souls. To Thee we give our homes, our families, our country. We desire that all that is in us, and around us, may belong to Thee. And may share in the benefits of Thy motherly benediction. And that this act of consecration, may be truly efficacious and lasting. We renew this day at Thy feet, the promises of our baptism, and our first Holy Communion. We pledge ourselves, to profess courageously. And at all times, the truths of our holy faith and to live as befits Catholics, who are duly submissive to all the directions of the Pope and the bishops in communion with him. We pledge ourselves to keep the commandments of God and his Church. In particular, to keep holy the Lord's Day. We likewise pledge ourselves 
to make the consoling practices of the Christian religion. And above all, Holy Communion, an integral part of our lives. In so far as we shall be able so to do. Finally, we promise Thee. O glorious Mother of God and loving Mother of men. To devote ourselves wholeheartedly. To the service of Thy blessed cult. In order to hasten and assure. Through the sovereignty of Thine Immaculate Heart. The coming of the Kingdom, of the Sacred Heart of Thine Adorable Son. In our own hearts and in those of all men. In our country and in all the world, as in heaven. So on earth, Amen. Act of Faith O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God, in three divine persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I believe that your divine Son, became man and died for our sins. And that he will come, to judge the living and the dead. I believe these, and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches. Because you have revealed them, who are eternal truth and wisdom. Who can neither deceive nor be deceived. In this faith, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Hope O Lord God, I hope by your grace, for the pardon of all my sins. And after life here to gain eternal happiness, because you have promised it. Who are infinitely powerful, faithful, kind, and merciful. In this hope, I intend to live and die, Amen. Act of Love O Lord God, I love you above all things. With my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all my love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. I forgive all who have injured me, and I ask pardon of all whom I have injured, Amen. St. Michael the Archangel Prayer O Glorious Prince St. Michael Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits Servant in the House of the Divine King, and our Admirable Conductor You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil Who turn to you with confidence And enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls, Amen. Morning Offering to St. Joseph Receive me, dear and chosen Father, and the offering of every movement of my body and soul, which I desire to present through thee, to my blessed Lord. Purify all. Make all a perfect holocaust. May every pulsation of my heart be a spiritual communion. Every look and thought an act of love. Every action a sweet sacrifice. Every word an arrow of divine love. Every step an advance toward Jesus. Every visit to our Lord, as pleasing to God as the errands of angels. Every thought of thee, dear saint, an act to remind thee that I am thy child. 
Accept each little devotion of the day, though replete with imperfection, and offer it to Jesus, whose mercy will overlook all, since he regards not so much the gift as the love of the giver. Amen. Morning Offering of St. Therese of Lisieux This morning, I dedicate all my actions to you, my God, with the intention of bringing glory to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I long to consecrate every heartbeat, every thought, and even the simplest tasks, by connecting them to His boundless merits. I also seek to make amends for my sins, by offering them to the furnace of His merciful love. Furthermore, I implore from you, my God, the grace to carry out your holy will perfectly, both for myself, and for those dear to me. I am willing to embrace the joys and sorrows, of this transient life out of love for you. So that, in the end, we may all be reunited in the eternal bliss of heaven, Amen. Morning Prayer for Repentance and Salvation Loving Father, examine my heart and reveal my sins to me. Grant me the awareness to recognize them, and the strength to repent. Father, purify me from both the sins I know, and those hidden from me. Help me eliminate them entirely, preventing their recurrence. Heavenly Father, empower me to overcome the intentional, and unintentional wrongs in my life. Grant me victory, over these shortcomings. Lord, I understand that the thoughts in my heart, impact the words from my mouth. Therefore, I implore you to cleanse my heart, ensuring that my words come from a pure and pleasing place. Lord, I am grateful that you seal, sanctify, and empower me. You are my guide, my teacher, and you pray through me. Help me to join forces with you as I use your word to pray for the salvation of my family, friends, and co-workers. Make me attuned to your promptings, and teach me how to collaborate with you, in praying your word over those who are seeking you. May my prayers be aligned with your will, and may they be a source of hope and transformation, for those who need your salvation. Mighty Lord, you are my provider, protector, and refuge. Only you can forgive my sins, and renew our everlasting relationship, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us, in today's morning prayer before you start your day. If you enjoyed what we are doing, I invite you to share it with the people that matter to you. I also invite you to pray today's Holy Rosary. We'll add the link in the description below. Once again, Thank you very much friends for praying together, and I hope your day is fantastic, and filled with the grace and peace of the Lord. I look forward to praying with you again in the next prayer. Until then, God bless you, and may you find joy in Jesus.